Section 3, The Socially Constructed Self. Turning to theories of the socially constructed self, I found these, like cognitive theories, inadequate in that they neglect the significance of recent discoveries in neurobiology. One example is George Kelly's personal construct theory, which shares quite a lot with cognitive mental model of the self approaches. As Ming Singer explains, Kelly assumes that the individual actively creates mental representational systems or constructs of the reality they perceive, including constructs of their self and how it fits into the reality they perceive. Where the social constructionists may differ from the cognitivists is in the value judgment elements of these constructs. Quote, these constructs are arranged as bipolar dimensions of descriptions like relaxed dash intense or good me slash bad me. The self-construct system constitutes all aspects of the self as perceived by the person through his, her entire past experiences interacting with the social environment. According to Kelly, all past experiences concerning them, the self present themselves as the database from which the self-construct system can be constructed. Although the same database allows for many different ways of construction, it is up to the individual to freely select, end quote. Though Kelly does not have much to say about what criteria individuals may use to make these selections. Singer identifies the main distinguishing feature of the social constructionist view of the self as its exteriorization of the self. It is not embodied in a biological organism, but is instead determined by the external social conditions and forces to which the individual is exposed. As she comments, this has implications for human agency. Quote, self in Gurdjian's theory is completely shifted out of the experiencing and sentient person from the intrinsic mental to the external social realm. This shift carries with it a similar set of implications for human agency as did the early behaviorism of Watson and Skinner. Against the traditional beliefs about individualism and related notions of human agency, individual self-determination and freedom of choice, behaviorism saw external reinforcements of behavior as the sole controlling agent of human functioning in general." End quote. Another version of social constructionism is to see the self as simply the sum of an individual's social roles. As Susan Blackmore explains, quote, If I ask you who you are, you might answer with your name, your job, your relationship to other people. I'm Sally's mum or Daniel's daughter or your reason for being where you are. I'm the cleaner. Adam invited me. 
all of the self descriptions come out of your mastery of language, your interactions with other people, and the world of discourse in which you live. End quote. But Blackmore, but as Blackmore goes on to comment, although they may be useful in certain circumstances, they fail to encompass any notion of the inner self which we commonly experience. Quote, they describe no persistent conscious entity. They are just labels for an ever-changing social creature. They depend on where you are and who you are with. We can find out a lot about how such constructions are created. Indeed, social psychologists do just that. But we do not find a conscious self this way. End quote.